Hello everyone, Morp here, and with the Holiday Scorched event going on, I wanted to come and give you a little quick tip and let you guys know about Collision Course. This is an event in the Morgantown Airport, and you can go and basically just run up to it and it'll start the event. And there is a, a period of time that if somebody did trigger the event on a server, uh, it won't be able to be re-triggered. So I'm going to be showing you a cool trick to do it. If you do have access to a private server with Fallout First, you can use the daily op trick and basically just go over and do it over and over and over. But anyway, so this is a great event. You can get a lot of stuff. I did this for about 45 minutes and I will show you at the end how much stuff I got, which is actually a pretty crazy amount. So, anywho, you can come in here, and uh, typically there's anywhere from 1 to 3 sometimes. I've had as many as, I think, 11 or 13 was the most that I've got out of one single event. So, it's really worth farming, especially if you don't want to uh, run around the map and everything. So, typically, when you go to the Morgantown Airport, you can, which is a really good thing to do, you can run around and go and find some of the holiday dudes that are just around there and go and kill them. After that, then you're going to run down to the other side of the airport, which does take a while. And in this server, I do get lucky, and it was available on the server, which is kind of cool. So you can come and start here, and then at this point, if you have some friends, you know, you can have them come and fast travel to the uh, event, and then basically sit there and wait for them to come. If you're doing it on a private server, obviously, you're still going to have to wait for them to come if you're not using the trick that I'm going to show you here at the end. And then you can go and just fight them as normal. I do suggest if you have buddies around, just don't shoot the special guys until they get close enough for everybody to shoot. So anyway, the simple gist of the daily op trick, and if you aren't familiar, if when you join daily ops, whenever you leave the daily ops, it's going to put you exactly back where you were. So if you're going to be server hopping and trying to find servers that have the collision course available, you can join daily op, and when you join the next server, it'll pop you right back to where you joined daily ops. Which is really cool that's a nice way to do it and if you are on your private server and you reset your private server you can have all of your friends when they load into the server they will pop in right here and to reload your private server what you do is you just click on the custom world and then as soon as it starts loading just click escape and then when you go to start your private world it will start automatically so you don't have to wait for a few minutes for it to reset and yeah, rock and roll. So you can do this over and over with your private server. You don't have to worry about them being taken over. And you can cut out a little bit of time and you can get a whole bunch of presents. And uh, yeah, rock and roll. So just make sure that you don't kill the little dudes until, you know, everyone gets close enough for everybody to loot and everything. And yeah, so I did this for, I want to say about 45 minutes or so. And I will show you here the loot that I got out of it. And let's see, got I got a whole bunch of stuff. This is about 45 minutes worth. And I was also just kind of messing around and making the video. Uh, but click here for a link to a full guide that I made on farming the event. And yeah, I hope you guys are rock and rolling and getting a bunch of those new awesome plans. And click like and subscribe if you guys like this kind of content. And we will see you in the wasteland.